Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for checking out my YouTube channel. Today, I decided I wanted to delve a little deeper into the conspiracy theories that spark and trigger and interest my little demented mind. But before we get started, make sure you click that red subscribe button. Click that motherfucking bell in the corner so you're notified every time I post a new video. And might as well give this video a thumbs up while you're down there. So let's get started. While I was researching, I found some conspiracy theories that really sparked my interest. The first one I'm going to be talking about today is the Avril Lavigne conspiracy theory. The conspiracy theory is that back in 2002, the record label hired Avril's lookalike to, you know, be filmed out in public, be a part of the glammed up life that is being a pop star. Avril was very, very down to earth, kept to herself most of the time, and kind of just, you know, wanted to live her own life and do what she wanted to do. So back in 2002, her granddad died. Her and her granddad were very, very close, you know, through childhood, through her growing up, you know, everything. And so after he passed, she became very, very sad. You can see in one of the videos of her concerts, she broke down on stage in tears, you know, saying that this song is for you and I really miss you. I just want to say that the show tonight goes out to my grandpa who passed away today. Conspiracy theory has it that after her granddad passed, she offed herself. The lookalike had to, you know, become Avril, you know, make the song, and just take over her, the life, the career that Avril had at one time. In these pictures that I'm going to show you, you can see that the brow line is different, the distance between the lips and the chin is different. On her arm, you can see that there are different numbers of birthmarks. And aside from her physical differences, her music really changed. She used to be very tomboyish. Just take a look at this. And if you could only let oh, Arigato! Now the lookalike's name is Melissa Vandella. Her and Avril have some very similar characteristics in their face. Everything about them really, except that they are two totally different people with two totally different personalities. Now, I don't know about that one. It wouldn't seem too far-fetched. I mean, record labels do it all the time. That one kind of messes me up. So let's move on to the next one. This one has to do with a very popular energy drink that a lot of you probably drink. It is Monster. Y'all just gotta take a look. There's a gap right here in the letter M. It's never connected. So you go into Hebrew. The letter Vav is also the number six. You could have here in Hebrew, 666. So I wouldn't be too surprised if Monster put, you know, 666 on the can. The interest is the word Monster. What do you see in the O? There's a cross. Okay. What has Christ got to do with an energy? Here is the message. When the cross goes upside down. <laughs> Next one I'm going to talk about is involving Taylor Swift. It's been rumored that she looks identical to this girl, Xena. They are both 24 years old in each of these pictures and they look fucking identical. They look like the same person. If you ask me who the person on the left is, I'd say Taylor Swift. And if you guys ask me who the person on the right is, I would say Taylor Swift. 
this has also been rumored. Um, I don't know if it's true. I have no idea, Illuminati, please don't come after me. But it is rumored that before Taylor Swift, you know, blew up, she had a first album like anybody and nobody really knew who she was. So how could she have like a huge, huge first you know, weekend sale of her album if nobody knew who she was? The rumor has it that her dad was like, hey, so you can make it big and have a big first weekend sale. Let me buy a hundred thousand of your albums. Let's get it rolling. It's rumored that there is a warehouse somewhere out there with a hundred thousand of her first albums. So it is rumored that Xena had a daughter named Taylor and I wouldn't be too surprised because now Xena is in her late 50s and Taylor is, I believe, 29 years old. Back in Xena's day, she was the lead Satanist of her, I want to say cult, but I'm just going to say organization. So I don't know. It doesn't seem too far-fetched, but none of this is true. It is just for entertainment purposes. And if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you click that red subscribe button and click that bell in the corner so you're notified every time I post a new video. Make sure you follow all my social media down below and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.